Secretary of the Sholabi family in the Aton area of Ogun State, Kazim Sholabi, has decried what he describes as an attempt to blackmail the police in order to incite them against his family. Kazim therefore condemned a viral video on the internet where a resident of Onogede village, Sokoto Road in Aton, Loki Agunge, accused the police of aiding land grabbing. Loki in the viral video had accused the police in Aton of releasing alleged land grabbers who attacked him. The family scribe said, I am disappointed in what our people have turned the social media to. They now see it as a tool to manipulate people around them. He narrated that the man in the said video is supposed to be one of his family tenants, but he bought the land from the judgment debtor. According to him, they had a case up to the Supreme Court and his family won. It is expected that those who are affected by the judgment should do the necessary things by ratifying their documents. He continued that others in the area are cooperating with them, but the man, Lucky, insists that he would not pay them and each time they try to talk to him, he always goes violent and unleashes his dogs on them. Kazim also stated that some days ago, they tried to talk to him again and he unleashed his dog on them and he was violent trying to hold them so that the dog can attack them. According to him, they freed themselves from him and escaped from the dog only for him to return with policemen and accuse them of attacking him. He also stated that as a law-abiding person, he has volunteered himself to go with them to the police station, but surprisingly, on their way to the police station, he started hitting them in the police van and inflicted serious injury on his nose and face. The policemen were disappointed and they chastised him. He goes on to say that when they got to the police station, the DPO saw the two of them and instructed his officers to give them medical reports to go and treat themselves and that they should return to the station. He says he's still recovering from the injury they inflicted on him and when he got a report that he had gone online to make false accusations against them and even indicted the police. Kazim stated that there at the station he confessed to the DPO that it was the one that beat him in the leg and also the one that punched him in the face. When the DPO was even threatening to arraign both of them in court, it was the one that appealed that he should not do so for now. He promised to return to the police station and they are still expecting them. A police source in the state who pleaded anonymity said it is true that he was at the station to report a case of assault on him but he also assaulted the other man, even in the presence of policemen. Already, there is a report against him that he was unleashing his dogs on people in the area and threatening them. The police also stated that the case is still on. The parties were only allowed to go and treat themselves and return.